Welcome back. In today's video, we're just going to cover the medication module. So as we've seen throughout our entire SOAP note, we've been able to chart everything except for medications. And that's located in the medications module, which can be found up top if you've customized your settings. Otherwise, you would just click on medications here and it'll take you to the same place. So once you're in the medications module, there's a few things to look out for. Their statuses, so inactive means that these were meds prescribed in the past but that the patient's no longer taking. Any active medications would appear here. And once we start prescribing new meds, you'll see another status that's called temporary. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So to begin searching for meds, you just type within find and double click on the med that you want. This here acts as your collection cart, so then you'll search for another medication and just keep adding them in as needed. And once you're all done, you'll just hit the select button. So you'll have to then find towards the bottom the medications that are now in this temporary status. And what that's telling you to do is look below here and make sure that your instructions are correct. If they're not, hit Edit SIG. And within Edit SIG, you'll be able to pick off new instructions or you can just free text within here whatever other instruction you wanted. And then you'll scroll down and hit Done. And once you do that, you're just worried about your quantity, units, and any refills you may want to add in. And then hit Accept. And then you'll scroll back down and repeat that same process for the next medication. Just make sure your instructions are correct, quantity units, refills, and accept. Now, if we had prescribed something like Bactrim, for example, and we wanted to assign it a stop date after 10 days, then in that case, within duration, you would type in 10. It would automatically pick the stop date, and you would hit accept. And what that means is that after 10 days, this medication will then drop to an inactive status. If you don't mark a stop date, then it will remain as an active medication. So all the, other, all the features are found right here in the center of the screen. If you're a staff provider, then you're going to have the ability to send meds electronically. And by clicking on send, you'll be able to pick their pharmacy by going to this box and finding it. So for example, we can assign our Venice Family Clinic pharmacy and mark it as our patient's default and then click send for them to receive it. However, if you're a volunteer, resident, or attending, then every medication is going to have to be printed out. So you'll go to the print feature. And once this screen appears, you may have to swap out the printer and choose one that has an ERX. Otherwise, if you select this button, all medications for current encounter, then any medication with today's start date will print out on the pharmacy paper. Otherwise, if you just had it on selected medication only, then only the medication marked in blue would print out. So besides prescribe new, print and send, we have this renew feature. So you can renew inactive meds or you can re renew currently active meds. You just click on the button renew and it'll go ahead and mark it with today's start date. Same thing with a previously inactive med. It puts under today's start date. If you wanted to do multiple ones, you can highlight multiple inactive meds and hit renew or multiple active meds and hit renew and it'll start renewing all of them. The only other thing to look out for is if you wanted to then make a change, let's say in losinopril dosage. So in this case, instead of hitting renew, you want to hit the arrow next to it and then edit RX. It then allows you to make edits to the instructions, quantity units, refills, but you can also then click on the medication name in black and then select a higher dosage and then kind of repeat the process and hit accept and that would make the change within your module. 
Other than that, the last feature to look out for is this stop button. So once you highlight a medication and click stop, it just drops it from an active to an inactive status. So in quick summary, to get to the medications module, click within here or up here and just focus your attention on the center of the screen. Go to prescribe new to start searching for new meds. That will get put into a temporary status and you'll just highlight each one. Make sure your instructions are correct. Quantity units refills. Stop date if necessary and hit accept. Print off these meds by making sure you click all medications for current encounter, assuming there's multiple medications, and just make sure that you print it to the appropriate printer. In terms of sending off, if you have the electronic rights, then go ahead and do so. And then the renew feature works just by highlighting medications and hitting renew, or going to the drop down edit RX to then make changes in dosage, quantity, refills, etc. And then, of course, the stop feature allows you to render active meds inactive. And that completes the medication module. Thank you very much for your time.